Hello friends, I am here today to tell a little bit more about high blood pressure or hypertension. Before I start about high blood pressure, let me tell you about what is blood pressure. Blood pressure is that pressure exerted by the flowing blood on the walls of our blood vessels. I can compare this to the pressure that is exerted when water flows through the horse when we water our garden. There is nothing called as a normal, like you know, I cannot say that this is a standard value, like you know, the commonest number that we see is 120 by 80 as a normal blood pressure, but there is nothing like a standard value that this is the gold standard. Now the blood pressure tends to depend from person to person. For some people it might be low, for some people it might be high, a little bit on the higher side, I'm not meaning the higher extremes. What we need to do is we need to make sure that the blood pressure is within the normal range. Our body has a self adjustment mechanism. So a little bit of changes, a message is sent across to our brain and our brain tend to adjust it because of the elasticity of the blood vessel. What happens in case of the blood pressure going high? When your blood pressure tend to go high, first thing is sometimes there is a deposition inside the blood vessel which we call as plaques and what happens is when the, what, the area that's available for the blood flow is automatically decreased. When this, this is compromising on the pressure, so the what, blood pressure tend to increase. The blood pressure is not only dependent on uh, the age of the person because as we tend to age, the blood pressure tend to, you know, we tend to get high blood pressure, which is we see more commonly. But it also tend to depend on family history, your smoking, your drinking habits, your diet, your lifestyle, your exercises and there are a few medications as well that tend to increase your blood pressure. For example, the anti-inflammatories that we take normally like the painkillers like the ibuprofen tend to increase the blood pressure. The contraceptive pills, the contraceptive depots like the implanone tend to increase the blood pressure. Uh, some cough and cold medications also tend to increase the blood pressure. What happens if the blood pressure goes high? If the blood pressure goes high, then the adjustment capacity or the self-adjustment mechanism is hampered. For example, the simple way I can explain to you is when you have a rubber band in your hands, if you tend to stretch it, stretch it. After a limit, it tends to snap. Same way, if the limits of the flexibility of our blood vessel goes away, it can break and the blood can spill out. If this breaking of the blood vessel happens in a brain, that's what we call a stroke. When the pressure is high, the pressure that's on our heart in order to pump the blood to all the organs is high, which can lead to heart failure. This is also a complication of high blood pressure. High blood pressure can also cause bleeding, we, as I told you before, in our eyes in, and in any other lot of organs in our body, which can lead to much more complications. What can be done to decrease the blood pressure? First and foremost is maintaining your body weight. You need to make sure that you don't go on to an obesity category. Maintain your BMI, which is the body mass index, in the normal range, which will help you to maintain your blood pressure. The second one, one of the most important things is regular exercise. What you need is mild to moderate degree of 30 minutes regular exercise. You don't have to just, you know, sweat yourself and, you know, do for hours and hours. All that you need is something like brisk walking for 30 minutes a day, probably five to seven days a week should do the job for the exercise. Decreasing your alcohol intake and stopping your smoking is another very important factor that contributes to controlling your blood pressure. Another important thing that needs to be taken care of when you think about blood pressure is managing or limiting your salt intake because salt tend to increase your blood pressure. Whereas we can increase our potassium intake which help to limit your blood pressure or keep it under control. Increase your caffeine intake through coffee also tend to increase your blood pressure. It is very important to monitor the blood pressure. When you monitor your blood pressure, sometimes the value that we take at two different times is two different values. It's because the value of the blood pressure is dependent on the way you're sitting, your position, your posture, your emotions, etc. So don't panic in case two different values come at two different times. Whenever you get 
blood pressure hypertension cannot always come with symptoms sometimes it might be absolutely non symptomatic which means you get no complaints at all so kindly measure your blood pressure randomly when you go to your doctor so that any hidden hypertension or high blood pressure condition can be brought out and measures can be taken in order to manage it if your doctor advises you to take a high blood pressure tablets or an antihypertensive please continue taking the medication kindly do not stop after taking the medication for a few days and say that my blood pressure has come under control no it is a medication that you have taken that has brought it down so once when you stop the medication it's going to bounce back like a rubber ball so please make sure you continue your medications as per medical advice in case you get any complaints or any side effect kindly consult with the doctor who prescribed it because they can easily substitute it with another medication which can take away your side effect so friends please monitor your blood pressure do regular exercise stay healthy stay happy thank you if you like this video kindly subscribe